Hey guys, it's Hans Hobbies, and as you can see, I have my Super Cloud Buster, my Tamiya Super Cloud Buster, back out here. Um, at the filming of this video right now, it's right in the middle of that coronavirus outbreak uh, pandemic. So we're just all staying home. We're that's what we're told to do, and I just. So I'm doing as I'm told and just staying home. And I thought while I'm, while I'm home, I should just find something to do. So I decided to paint this, I'll paint my Super Cloud Buster body. And I'm gonna drive it in my backyard for a little bit. Um, I was originally not gonna paint this body. Uh, I was just gonna sell it, but uh, with I had an incident with the wind while I was out here one day. Uh, the wind picked it up and decided to smash it on the ground and damage it, which made it obviously lose some of its value. And then the person that was gonna buy it completely bailed on me, told me be there in five minutes, I was there. I, I was there waiting for him, didn't show up ever. So Got annoyed of uh, dealing with that, so I decided to just paint it, just have something to do. And also, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, I really like how it turned out. The main reason I wanted to sell it was because I am not a very big fan of the Chevy truck body. But the way I have it painted here and with the, the Tamiya grill on it, I think it almost doesn't even look like a Chevy truck anymore. It's just like a Tamiya truck. So I, I, I like how it turned out. I'll show you all the damage and stuff and I'll drive it for a little bit, but uh, originally I was trying to do the box art except make all the gray yellow, so like a variation of the box art, but I did the masking in the wrong order, so ended up turning out like this, but even even so I think it turned out really well. I really like how it looks. It looks even great. It, it looks even better in the sun. Um, all the chrome parts look really nice. I painted the grill black as you can see but the rest of it's still silver so that still looks really nice. The wheels I, I wanted to paint but for now they're just silver. Eventually I might paint all these blue bumper parts to match the body a little bit better because they're slightly different shade of blue. Though it doesn't look too bad on camera. Yeah I'll go over it so here's the decal work. I really like the Super Cloud Buster decals. Um, a lot of people, whether from nostalgia or whatever, uh, a lot of people are, they, they prefer the original style decals, but for me, I think these decals look a lot cooler. They look, I think they look uh, better. And I really like the 80s like retro video game text too. I think that looks really cool. Um, it doesn't have any like real sponsors on it, but I don't really mind. Uh, I, I wasn't a fan of the 4x4x4, so I painted it black, so which that doesn't that, that makes it sh not show up as much, which I like. I put the Tamiya badge on it just to emphasize that it's a Tamiya pickup truck on the tailgate too. And overall, I think it, it turned out really well. Um, it's not the most perfect paint job, but also, also it's gonna be a runner, so I don't want it to be a perfect paint job. Otherwise, it hurt my soul to drive it. I also painted some of these, like this silver and the window trim here silver. And I painted the blinkers. And yeah, some of the damage that's on it though is you can't really see a lot of it, like the edges, or the, like the corners of the body and stuff because uh, I painted over it. But some of it, like the bumper here got scratched um, the chrome is peeling off of here, so I had to kind of cover it up with some silver paint. It's not the perfect match, but whatever. One of the the lenses are missing. You can see this side, it's missing. Uh, and I can't find it, but you can't really tell, so... Uh, you can always get a new one. So I'm not too concerned about that. A uh, big scratch was here on the light. You can see that gray splotch there. Um, I had to paint over that because it was white underneath. And then the rear bumper got scratched all the way along the edge. But, you know, it's going to happen when you run it anyway. So, I'm not too upset. Especially since it looks a lot better now. Uh, I'll paint it up and stuff. 
And besides that, it's just all the same as it has been in my previous videos. It's mostly a stock claw buster just with bearings and the steering mod. Uh, like the steering servo mod. So, yeah, I'm going to just put it on the ground and take it for a little drive. I really like using the stock Tamiya um, ESCs because you get to use this like switch on the side of the side of the car. It really brings back like nostalgic memories of when I used to play with like the Walmart RC cars. But obviously, these are faster and ha are much better quality. But it's just I like that nostalgic feeling. And a lot of Tamiya's appeal is nostalgia anyway. But yep, I'm running a six cell nickel metal battery again, just 3500 milliamp. It's just like what I, what I what I have. This thing really looks amazing in the sun. And I just love how it drives. I have a little ramp set up here. Obviously, it's a lot slower now with the heavy hard body, but definitely looks cooler. And I feel like the hard body also made the car a lot quieter too because the motor noise isn't vibrating through the whole body. definitely lost some of its pep that it had before when it had the Lexan body on it. But I do have a J Concepts uh, F1 uh, F250 body coming for it so that's gonna be remedied soon. But in the min meanwhile this is still a lot of fun. My opinion is, you don't always need a uh, RC car to go like 60, 100 miles an hour. Sometimes it's just fun to putt around at maybe 5 or 10 miles an hour. And they can do all the jumps and stuff, so I don't really mind the low speed that much. But yep, that was just a quick little run. I just wanted to show you guys what state my Claude Buster is in. It's got bent back a little bit. So yeah, I think it looks really cool now. Um, I'll definitely run it like this. and Can't wait to destroy this body now. But yeah, I'll have a full review of it coming out very soon. Um, the weather is getting really nice, so I'll be able to, I'll, I'll be able to do more... Uh, comfortable running videos, a lot better looking uh, running videos rather than the gloomy, snowy, whatever crap. So look forward to that. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, uh, give me a like, subscribe, comment down below any thoughts you have. All that good YouTube shenanigans. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.